I am not recording on my phone today. I bought a new PC and I have a um, better camera coming on the way and a mic so I won't need to do the headset anymore. I've had a lot of requests to actually do the videos on a desktop and that's what I wanted to do the whole time. I just didn't have anything that was good enough to actually record with. So um, the stuff should be in by tomorrow. So again, I won't need the headset and I should have better audio um, quality and the camera quality should be a lot better too. So I'm playing Dritz again because I'm just tired of being in Platinum trying to experiment with other stuff and I just want to get to Diamond like I should have been. I was like three wins away from Diamond like a week ago and then I kept playing other decks just trying to, you know, be different. But I just got to hop on the Dritz train because it's just too obnoxious otherwise. So it's really similar to the other list that I posted except that I'm now running uh, Shields up and I'm running uh, Matron Malice. Don't really like this card still. Um, I'm probably going to continue to change this deck, and that's probably going to be the first thing that goes. But um, everything else is really close to the same. Oh, I'm also running um, Wolfgar instead of the 3-drop um, Legendary. That's a 2-3 Flyer. I just wanted some more stats to fight on the board better early. So those are the changes I made to the deck, and I just wanted to give you guys a little update on the channel and um, what's going to be happening soon. And I hope you guys like this format better. Let me know if um, you like this more or if you just like the, the old um, phone recording better. Um, and excuse like any audio or visual problems. That's all going to get corrected soon. But uh, thank you guys for watching. Right, hopefully this game isn't too wobbly. I have first wobbles a bunch of times. I recognize his name. Makes me think of Melee. Dritz mirror, so it's just who draws a nuttier. I'm rooting for you to win it all. Four drop hasters are really important, just like they normally are. So I have birds, so I'm mulling for just a four drop haster. This combo is also fine. If you have birds of paradise and you go in second in this deck, you should almost always just keep this and then uh, try and get a four drop haster or this thing. I know this looks slow, especially with this. If I can give this like plus four, plus one, he's in for he's in for it. the development. If I want to be rude, I might even go another Tusker instead of Stoneforge Mystic next turn. Just put all the stats in his face. Okay, I might need to do mine just to combat his now. Then he's just going to pass. If I draw a Shields Up or Gigantic Growth, I think I win. All day long. Come to me, my shadow. Gotta progress the kitten. He doesn't want to trade here, which I don't understand. Let's gear up. That seems like a good way to keep my bird alive. Just now that this exists. Plus one, plus one, and sneak. 
plus one plus one in reach, plus one plus one in armor. We're not the best rolls. Know your place. With Elvish Mystic. I am making sure that it's keeping the legendary keyword, right? Oh, it doesn't. Okay. I was hoping it would keep the legendary keyword. So. I thought it would bring it back, like, as it was, but that's not how it works in this game. So I guess that makes sense. It's kind of broken otherwise, I suppose. I might go for this, searching for a 4-drop haster as well, since I can play it next turn. If I draw another Herald, then this becomes a thing again. But yeah, if I had realized that that doesn't come back with Legendary, it wouldn't have made that play. Hopefully when this attacks, it doesn't do the Ray that uh, makes this cost 2 more. 2, raise the cost from 2... Just don't increase the cost of this, please. This might be really useful for getting the last no bit of damage. That's alright. Um, I can get more value than two out of this block, most likely. So, I think I'm just gonna... I'm actually gonna block like this. Because I want this to be able to have a favorable on this still. Place. And next turn, even if I do this and don't get anything, I have a fallback plan of doing this. Oh. Ooh. Okay, complete change of plans. That's very interesting. Yeah, take four. It's fine with me. I can still get the growth on the clap back, and then the sneak happens. So it's not a big deal if he just takes it. I kind of wish he did just take it. Know your place. The sky calls. And I know it's mana efficient to play this and this, but I don't want him to have like Path of Exile or something for what I give this to, so. Uh. Hmm. This game has a really weird flow to it. So Stoneforge can give me another good roll with this. And I'm going to do both of those upgrades on the same turn. Oh man. I think that's, I think the door's closed now. A competition. How are you see? Hey, that's a blocker. Let's have some fun, shall we? Maybe I'm not out of it just yet. 
I could draw Path of Exile, drop this, and get um, a good upgrade, and then swing with the dragon. Jesus. I don't want to buff that thing any more than it's already buffed. blocks it's already dead anyway he's gonna block it with this so might as well save myself the three damage Plus three, two. That'll get rid of it, but it won't do anything else. Plus one, plus one in armor. Isn't quite good enough either. Like, it sucks they have to fight each other. So take the armor. Is this the Lingering Spirit one again? Let's go. Get another Fleet Blocker. Blocker, I'll take that. He doesn't want these two to trade next turn. Is he actually thinking about taking the eight? I was about to say. There's no time Let's to dump some far, shall we? Alright, get a blocker. Oh. For the 9 4 again. I don't care about that. Unless it's a unless it's a flying ward creature. If I don't block with him this turn, I do have access to the grudge match and then hitting him for um, four directly to face. Can I not just armor block this? Come to my shadow. Let's have some fun, shall we? Why am I having a brain fart here? I guess because I don't think I should still be playing this game. Um, In my Mickey's name. Four. There's no time to dawdle. No, it doesn't matter. It's just the it's just the blocker. Yes. Yeah, it doesn't matter that this is in the air because when Zozu comes around, I'll be fine. Yeah, I don't he shouldn't have played that, I don't think. Yeah, I think Zozu is gonna shut him out. He can only block one, and that's five. Yeah, we win. That's that's really crazy. Um considering how far ahead the opponent was. <laughs> and that the is pay. can block, yeah. <sighs> Yeah, this just seems like it shouldn't have happened. I think this was all uh, Wobble's fault, pretty much. Let's have some fun, shall we? I can't believe we got that game. This is crazy. Okay, that's interesting. I want to actually see what his deck list is 
I've seen, I think, like two rolls this season so far. I tried to make a roll list the other day, and it was... It, I would need a lot of time to make it worth it. Uh, yeah, this is usually very problematic for roll. If you can put down, like, early Let's stats go. and just go face. Well, then, That's pretty much the only way to beat him before. I beat a lot of rolls with that Chandra deck. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna jam the wolf. Yeah. the game plan so that's why i prioritize the herald over this and also this only has one power or one attack um so if he didn't block there then i didn't have to worry about this dying to it either the grudge match and giant growth combo is really nasty And even if he pyrochasms, the game is just over. Like I'm hitting him for uh, five next turn, even if he board wipes me. Yeah, that was not it. I just hate that Rawl has been like mitigated to such um, like, he's just fallen from grace so hard. Like, he was definitely a problem before. I just don't like how much they nerfed him. They nerfed him to the ground. And they didn't need to do that. There's no need for me to use this now. And then this is the scoop, maybe? Unless he's got, like, double mana surge or something. I don't know. That wasn't a bad cleanup. I am going to give this one toughness, activate um, the giant growth. How does that actually work with the cat? Does the cat, I know that it says um, can't trigger trap, so I guess that means when I attack as well, so maybe that's not the, not the right thing to do. Regardless, I still want to do this and attack. And neither one of these died a pyrochasm. So unless he has like a double pyrochasm, then that play is really safe. I don't think he has double pyrochasm. He would have played it last turn. Let's see. Spark a genius. Like the hands do weird stuff when opponents draft. I'm assuming it's Spark of Genius. Spark of Genius and a mana surge into Day of Judgment. 
Okay. I saw a white. I was tripping for a second. <laughs> okay, does he have like a... It's gotta be a hard removal spell because unsummon won't do it, right? All three of these, and um, he doesn't have to block this. Okay. I just attack, right? Nice work out there. Nice work out there. Alright, so those are two games. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.